I did a pu about, about 12 years ago, I was doing a public access TV show in Canada, got picked up by MTV, they moved me here to New York City. Yeah, yeah. Now I have a YouTube channel, so my career's going pretty well. <laughs> no, it's great, we're here, we're doing a show on Mark Cuban's network, right? Uh, Bill, uh, last time I was here in New York, I was working for a billionaire, I was working for Donald Trump on the Celebrity Apprentice. Yeah, I got fired. Got fired in the third episode. Donald Trump was mad at me. He screamed at me. He screamed at me when he fired me. Didn't scream at the other celebrities. Didn't scream at Brian McKnight, whoever the fuck that is, right? <laughs> they, they put you in a room. They make you make cupcakes for 16 hours. You got Clint Black screaming in your ear all day. I don't want to say anything bad about Clint Black, but that guy's a fucking asshole, man. <laughs> Donald Trump, he was like, you're fired! His hair went like that and that. You could see all the wires and buttons underneath. <laughs> he was mad at me because I went out drinking with Dennis Rodman. <laughs> On the night I was the project manager. That's a no-no. What are you supposed to do? You're in New York City, a seven-foot-tall cross-dressing basketball champion asks you out on a date, you say yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Dennis Rodman. He's probably going to pick you up, take you out for a steak dinner. You head out for a night on the town, have some cranberry vodkas, hit the strip club. At the end of the evening, you head back to the hotel. If you're lucky, he doesn't fuck you in the ass. <laughs> I did not get lucky. Uh, <laughs> he was gentle. It's what I call a backcourt violation, sir. See? No, this is cool, man. We're going to have fun tonight, man. we got four great comics here tonight. We're going to have a good time here on the show. I'm excited. I've been touring around the world doing stand-up myself. I just got back from Australia. It was amazing. He held a, I held a koala over there. It was really exciting. I went to this koala sanctuary, and it's a very famous koala sanctuary on the wall. They have all these celebrities holding the koala. they got a picture of the Pope holding the koala, and right beside the picture of the Pope, there's a picture of Chris Brown holding the koala. It's a, <laughs> I kind of thought it was an odd placement choice beside the Pope. <laughs> and I hold the koala, then I hand it back to the zookeeper. The zookeeper looks at me and says, You know, mate, the koala's the number one carrier of chlamydia. <laughs> it's like you could have told me that before I fucked it. <laughs> I'm, taking the, uh, I'm taking advantage of the, uh, the you can swear on TV policy for this show. I think it's a lot of fun. Yeah. But I do think, you know, look, you know, it's nice to be in New York. Things have changed a lot in the last 12 years since I moved to New York the first time. You know, the technology's taken over our lives. We're all stuck on our Facebook pages now. I think we got to think about this stuff. I think we should all cancel our Facebook pages tonight. What do you say? I think that'd be a good idea. Unfortunately, it's impossible, okay? You can only deactivate your Facebook page. They own our information. They've stolen our privacy. Let's deactivate our Facebook pages tonight, though. And in 20 years, let's all reactivate at the same time, and we'll all look the same, and our friends will look fucking old. It'll be awesome. <laughs>